Welcome to the evening episode of Toothy Trivia. I'm your host, Emma, and I hope you had an awesome day. Go ahead and get your toothbrush ready. Now it's time to make brushing your teeth for two minutes fun and easy. Are you ready? Let's go! Today's trivia theme is cheerleading. There are estimated to be over 1.5 million participants in the all-star cheerleading today. Cheerleading started out as an all-male activity. Princeton University football officials had named three male cheerleaders on October 26, 1897, who were to cheer for the home football teams and the guest football teams as well. The team cheerleader has been used since 1897. The University of Minnesota also organized a yell leader group, which consisted of six male students. A few years later, in 1903, the first cheerleading fraternity was founded, and it was called the Gamma Sigma. It wasn't until 1923 that women joined cheerleading and began dominating it during World War II, when very few men were involved in organized sports, and many were away at war. It was around this time that gymnastics, megaphones, and tumbling were incorporated into cheerleading along with the popular cheers. Statistics show that among all the modern cheerleading participants, 97% are female. At the college level where cheerleading is co-ed, 50% of participants are male. 12% of all cheerleaders fall between the ages 5 and 13. 62% of all cheerleaders are involved in a second sport. 80% of schools in the United States have cheerleading squads, and the most popular sport for cheerleading is football. ESPN first broadcast the National High School Cheerleading Competition in 1983. In the United States, of the 2.9 million female high school athletes, only 3% are cheerleaders. However, nearly 65% of all terrible injuries are caused by cheerleading. At the college level, 67% of all female athlete injuries are known to be caused by mishaps experienced during cheerleading. The most common injuries are reported as being brought on due to performing pyramids. These include broken arms, elbow injuries, broken noses, knee injuries, sprained wrists and ankles, back and head injuries, and broken collarbones. Who knew cheerleading was so dangerous? And you're done! Weren't those two minutes easy? If you like these episodes, be sure to tell your parents and dentists to subscribe to Toothy Trivia on iTunes, Google Play, or Stitcher. We can also be found as Toothy Trivia on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.